Jay Siemens here with Alumacraft, and I'm gonna give you some fishing tips to bring your game to the next level. Boom, it's a really nice walleye. Okay guys, tip number one for leveling up your fishing game is truly learning your electronics. I think a lot of people get their graphs, live imaging, or just a basic 2D or a flash or whatever it might be, and they put it onto automatic mode, automatic settings, the fish icon, all those things. The more you can get off the automatic settings, the more info you're gonna get out of these fish finders. When you turn it onto fish icon mode, sometimes it'll clump a group of bait fish and it'll show up like a little fish icon. So when you can turn onto manual settings, dial in the gain, being how sensitive it is for showing fish, the more you fish with it, the more you'll learn, you'll come in tune with what you're looking at. Maybe bait fish, weeds, larger fish, all those things. So, you know, you spent the money on the electronics. Now it's time to spend the time learning. There's lots of resources online, but the overall tip I can give you is just the sooner you can get it off of those automatic settings, you're gonna learn so much more. They're coming, I see them on the graph. Tip two is having the right rod for the job. And you know, when you're getting into fishing, you buy a seven foot medium power rod. You can, you can kind of catch everything with it. But the more you fish, the more you realize that you can't do it all with one rod. And the one example I use for that is golfers. Golfers don't use one golf club for everything. They got a driver, they got their irons, their woods, their putters, all that stuff, right? So same thing with fishing. If I'm targeting big fish, I'm gonna use a big beefy setup. So here's an example of something on the big side of the spectrum. Let's call this a, a driver in golf terms, right? This is big beefy. This is 100 pound line, a big bait casting reel, eight and a half foot rod. There are a couple reasons why you wanna go beefy for that. You're throwing big lures. Otherwise you're gonna get burnt out trying to throw it on a lighter spinning setup. But as well, you gotta think about the care of the fish. The, the saying you don't wanna bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, when you're targeting a big muskie, you want to have the right gear because you want to take good care of that fish. You want to have a shorter fight when possible. You don't want to break off hooks in his mouth. All those reasons. So having the proper gear, obviously it's an investment. And then like we were just fishing for with bass, walleye, you're going to be using a lighter spinning setup. Obviously you don't need 30 or 40 rods. There are reasons that anglers use all of those different rods. You know, if you are investing as an angler, kind of think about how are these going to be useful and how can this allow me to fish in more situations? All right, my last tip is push yourself out of your comfort zone. To level up as an angler, it's easy to get stuck in a rut doing the same thing, fishing a jig and minnow for walleyes all the time. But maybe you wanna try musky fishing, maybe it's lake trout, maybe it's just going to a different lake. I know when I was talking about tips for beginners, it was doing something that was safe. Well, if you wanna become a better angler, sometimes you gotta do things that aren't safe. By being safe, I mean like potentially getting skunked and not catching fish. But if you do figure it out, strike gold, maybe catch the biggest fish of your life, maybe learn something you can bring back to a different lake. So that's my challenge to you guys. Push yourself out of your comfort zone, try something different, and uh, it'll make you a more uh, well-rounded angler. Yeah.